up folks, Dr. Grizz here with another beer and vape pairing. And as usual, I am going to start it off with a shot of whiskey. Yeah, I love that. I just love this part. I really do. Uh, I might not do this in the next video because unfortunately I actually have to film the next video right after this one. Because uh, this is Thursday the 6th. Uh, I'm going to upload this one today and probably upload tomorrow's today as well. Because I'm doing one every day. But tomorrow, Friday, I have to work all three jobs. Uh, so it's a get up at 6 a.m., out the door for 7 a.m., back home around 7.30 a.m. the next day. So there ain't, there ain't going to be no stopping to do a pairing tomorrow. Not for me. Not for Dr. Grizz, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I'll have to go a whole day without having a beer. <coughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Let's have our shot, huh? Cheers. Oh, yeah. Still loving that tobacco reserve, that uh, butterscotch reserve that hit the tobacco in it to go with the whiskey. Oh, yeah, it's okay. But what are we going to do for beer? Today we have Down the Road Beer Company, Fayborn Berliner Weiss Peach. I love me some peaches. I hope this is real peachy. But Berliner Weisses are usually like tart, kind of tart, sour, <clears throat> very farmhousey, kind of loose in the field. You know, they're they're usually kind of an odd color. Uh, but uh, let's let's see what it says. Ale brewed with peach juice, whatever. So brewed with peach juice, actually. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Feeborn. Where the hell does this come from? Down the road. Da -da, Everett, Massachusetts. Down the road, Everett, Massachusetts. There's really nothing on there. There's a little story on there, but I hate those things. I actually don't like those little stories. Just tell me about the beer. You don't have to give me a little story. I don't need to know your background. If I wanted to know that, I'll go to the interwebs and find it. All right, thank you. There's my little rant for the day. Yeah, it's a, it's like a golden kind of... <laughs> Believe it or not, it kind of looks like a Budweiser. It kind of looks like a like a kind of hazy Budweiser, like a hazy version of a Budweiser, or something of that nature. But I can assure you, it definitely is not going to taste like one. I'm loving the smell off of that. Definitely loving the smell on that. Uh, I'm definitely getting peach, and I'm getting a little like citrusy note on there too. Oh. Maybe it tells me what kind of hops they use. What kind of hops they use? Stone fruit. Huh. Doesn't say what kind of hops they use. Oh well. I guess we'll find out when we taste it. Let's let's fucking taste it. Yes, yes, right up Dr. Grizz's alley. Oh, it kind of tastes like a like a peached up lemonade almost. Yeah, it's like bright, it's citrusy, peach, smooth, almost no bitterness to it whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, oh, I, this is a fantastic Berliner Weiss. Oh yeah, I could drink that all day. Can I drink that all day? Well, it doesn't say on the can what the alcohol percentage is. Oh, 4.5%. Crushable. Fucking crushable. You could definitely, well, unless you're super lightweight. Otherwise, yeah, you could you could drink this one all day. You can enjoy this one all day. What are we going to pair with? Let's let's start off with that tobacco, uh, the butterscotch tobacco. I, I, I have a feeling this one's going to work out pretty good. Yeah, it was all right. That was all right. The, the creamy butterscotch, like, with vanilla, kind of a vanilla butterscotch... And that, like, nutty, sweet, earthy tone that comes from the tobacco with the peach on this is really good. That citrus note kind of doesn't work too good with the with this right here. But 
it it's not it's not so it's not so crazy that it's gonna turn me off. I like I, I like that one. Not the greatest pairing I've ever had, but it's definitely definitely doable. Yeah. Mm hmm I always have to go for that second one just to make sure, you know. And then of course we got our fizzy lemonade in the bonza. <clears throat> Let's put a little extra in there just to make sure that cotton's good and wet. Nobody likes dry cotton. A couple extra drops in there. Just to make sure. I just got peached up lemonade with a, with a hint of cooling effect. Yeah. We have a winner. I think we have a winner. I, I'm going to try one more, but I think right here we have a winner. But what do I... I don't even know what I have to try. That... It, it just... It's just fucking perfect. This was perfect. The... The fizzy lemonade. It just... It works so well with tart and sweet beers. It just does. I don't know why. That menthol part it always has me thinking, nah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. But the the lemony and mint together, they just kind of have a weird way of pairing very well with tart fruits and sour fruits. And even to an extent, the sweet fruits. Some, some of the sweet fruits it doesn't go well with because of the lemon in there. It makes it ultra sweet. Yeah, I could do that all day. I could do that pairing all day. All fucking day. And at 4.5%, I actually can. Let's try it. One more. One more. Eh, we got we got a minute left for the eight-minute mark. So right here I got Lava Flow in the uh, top, uh, top side rocking the uh, the uh, drop solo on there with, with the drip tip from the Rebirth. With the spare drip tip from the Rebirth. I'm liking the, the, trip, the drip tips on the from the Rebirth. <clears throat> just not on the rebirth for some reason I don't like it on I don't like its own drip tips on itself isn't that weird like I got the <laughs> from the from the cheetah 2 the ultimate tip from the cheetah 2 on the rebirth that's the only tip I like on the rebirth for flavor anyways I, I know this is in squawk compatibility but just to make sure them coils are wet right now I don't feel like squonking it so I'm just going to drop a little bit into it and that's a single, that's a dual fuse Clapton in there. Just a very simple build. So let's have a go, huh? Wrong hands. Yeah, lava flow. Lava flow. The pineapple and coconut on there. It's a strawberry pineapple coconut, not like the fruit basket, which is strawberry pomegranate. The, but that pineapple goes real good with these with the peaches. Oh man, pineapples and peaches were meant to be married. I swear to God, that was a fantastic. We just found three winners, three winner folks. Ding ding ding, we win. Uh, no matter what I pair this with, it's fucking delicious. And I think that's because it's a fantastic fucking beer. And if you have a top notch beer, just about anything is gonna go with it. Yeah. I'm fucking, I'm in heaven here. I, oh my god. I, I don't know if I want to do another video. I just want to sit here and drink this all day. Oh. Sorry, folks. I got a little, little emotional right there. Pardon me, I'm just flooded with emotions. Oh jeez. Whatever. Stop smoking shit that tastes like ass. Start vaping shit like what I just did. And pair it with some delicious fucking beer like this. Like, oh my god. Down the road beer company. Fayborn Peach Berliner Weiss. What? Fucking, and there's even some in the can left. Oh my god, I'm gonna finish that. Damn right, I'm gonna have a... I'm going to fucking start stocking up on this shit. I fucking love this. This is freaking fantastic. 
because life is too short to drink shitty beer and smoke shitty cigarettes. Because shitty, that, them cigarettes are going to make your life even shorter. I, I totally keep saying that wrong. Oh well, it's not really a sign off anyways. See ya. Uh.